Hello, I'm Rusty from Rusty's Own. I'm a YouTube creator and founder. Now, as a founder, I often have to deal with PDF files, and to be honest, up until now, this has been pretty much a nightmare. But since switching to PDF Element, it's helped make this process a whole lot easier. Not only that, but I can now almost do everything I need to do from my phone. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how PDF Element works on iOS. Okay, so PDF Element is an all-in-one PDF editor lets you edit, convert, and compress PDF files, and basically do anything you could imagine with PDF files. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so first we're gonna take a look at how you can read and edit your PDFs and even mark them up and annotate. So what we're gonna do is open up the PDF Element app just here. We're into the app now, and I have a couple of PDFs that I've added on here already. Just to take a step back, um, you can add PDFs in a number of different ways. Um, you can organize them as well, but you can see here you can import them from your computer. So if you tap the computer icon at the bottom, that will give you a uh, address that you can open up on your computer, a website address, and you can then upload files straight from there, and that will sync up straight with the app. Or you can like take a photo of a PDF, or you can grab it from your photos or from your files. So it's really easy to add uh, different PDFs into a uh, PDF element in here. So as you can see, as I mentioned, I've got a couple of PDFs in here. Now, the first thing I want to do is open up this one down here, which is actually a, a PDF of a boiler. So it's not the most exciting uh, file that you could work with, but it shows how flexible this is and how easy you can actually start working with different types of PDFs. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of pages here and the way you can read this is really easy. So you can pick a certain area like this. So you want to find out more information. You can just pinch to zoom like that and then start looking more closely um, at this different area of the PDF file, which is really great. So it's really intuitive as to how you can move through the page. But say you wanted to highlight a certain area of this page, or say I wanted to highlight this uh, temperature selector over here, what you can do is go up to the top here where you have the uh, little highlight option, this pen, and then go over to the uh, pen option just here, and then we wanna click onto it again to adjust the pencil size. Now, one way that's really cool to highlight this, if I change this to this yellow color, increase the thickness, and then reduce the opacity like that, and if I then go back to my file and just scribble over this temperature area like that, and then turn off my, uh, turn off my pen just here, and if I zoom out, you can now see this is highlighted quite nicely. So that's one way that you can start to mark up your files and highlight things. But if you wanted to do it slightly differently, you could grab that um, icon again, change the pencil back to the darker color, increase the opacity, reduce the thickness like that, and then come back and we'll go uh, around here. Just undo that little bit there. So you've got the undo buttons, really easy in case you make a mistake. And say I just wanna uh, scribble some notes over here. You can do that just nicely like that. And obviously, um, if you had an Apple Pencil or something, this uh, fully supports Apple Pencil. So that'll make it a lot easier to, you know, to draw your notes onto the PDF file as well. So let's undo that uh, change I made just there. There we go. Um, and then if you want to save your changes, you can tap save up here. Or when you're closing, so if you tap this X up in the corner, you can choose to save the changes you've made there as well. Um, so that's how you can edit um, your files. You can also add in text as well. So if I tap this uh, text box at the top, and then choose somewhere on the page that I want to add my file. So if I just zoom in just here, what you'll also find is when you're adding a text box, you'll see these borders appear around other um, elements of text. Now it's key that I said element there, because in PDF element, it turns all of the different parts of the, the file into elements. So if I tap this one over here for pressure gauge, I can then start to edit this text really easily. So I could change this just to say pressure um, element, let's say. Um, and that is how easy you can add these boxes. If I wanted to then, I could add my own new text box. So I tap just here, and here's a new text box. Um, but as you can see, it's really easy. I'll just tap that again to then turn that off. And then, you know, I can start scrolling through my page as I could before. You can also add in images here. So you can see this image icon over here. You can then tap to add in an image, um, which again, shows how flexible this is. Okay, so that is how you can edit your PDF. So now let's have a look at how you can fill in forms and different things like this. So I've got another file over here. Now this one is um, a good example of how you can fill in forms. So as you can see, I have different elements over here, which is already set up to be text areas. 
So because of the way PDF element works, these are all turned into elements. So I can start to add in um, my own text here like this, another line of text. And you can really quickly see how you can start filling out these forms on the go. So you don't even need to be on your laptop or your computer, you can just do it straight from your phone. And once you've finished making these changes, I can just uh, tap save over here. Hang on, I'll tap save instead of this, like that. So my file is saved. And then what I could do there is I could straight away share this or upload it, um, or even send it to a printer if it's linked to my local Wi-Fi, um, or even from your iPhone. And you can start to work with all your documents on the go, which is such a powerful uh, feature to have. Now, one thing you might have also noticed um, already is that it all supports dark mode. So I like to have dark mode in all of my apps and it's perfectly supported in PDF element as well, which is really nice. And a couple other things to mention, um, I'll go back to the uh, boiler template for this, is you can actually reorder the way that pages are ordered in your uh, PDF file. So if you tap the four little squares, it'll bring up this option just here. And what you can do is you can remove pages from this file or you can reorder them. So if I tap the edit icon on the top uh, right hand corner here, and then hold down on, let's say, uh, the second page. So I'll just hold it down and then drag it hold here and then move it to the side. And if I tap this icon here and then go back, you can see now, if we go to the very top, that's now the first file. And I can do exactly the same thing again to reverse this. We'll just hold, go back to here, edit, hold press, move it across, done. So it's really easy to actually reorder these files, reorder these pages. And if I wanted to remove a page, as you can see at the bottom here, I can delete it or extract it into its own uh, file as well, which is pretty cool. Um, so again, it's really flexible, really powerful, and you can use it in so many different ways. Now, the last thing I want to mention is, uh, as you saw there, I have different uh, folders I can organize. So if I just go back to my pages here, so I can create new folders, but it also comes with cloud storage. So you can have up to 100 gigabytes of storage, which is really secure for all of your different PDF files. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and gives you more of an insight into how you can use PDF element on your iPhones. And remember, however you PDF, own it.